The world record attempt won't be over until we have reached the bottom, and not a minute before. England, Japan, China, Italy, France, Austria, Croatia. The technique, I, I, I'm really impressed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Normally, it is our daily task to be on time, reliable and to arrive safely. How does my hair look? I really try to speak high German. Isn't life just grand? In 2022, Switzerland celebrated a special anniversary because 175 years ago, the first train ran in Switzerland. At the end of the celebration, there was to be a special spectacle. The journey of the world's longest narrow-gauge passenger train, set up to delight the media. After months of intensive preparation, the time had finally come on October 29th. It was to be an exciting day. Allegra, good morning, bonjour, good morning, everybody. Herzlich willkommen here in Kur. Welcome to Kur. What a beautiful day! A day for the railroad, a day for celebrating 175 years of railroad history in Switzerland. Ich freue mich. I am delighted to be able to personally welcome you all here to Kur. For months now, my children and I have been members of the Clean Plate Club, and it appears that St. Peter noticed granting us perfect weather for today. We certainly aren't going to take it for granted, but we will take it as a good sign. This is a day we will never forget. We get to do something together that no one has ever done before. Today we are going to try to make the world's longest passenger train run over one of the most fascinating railroad tracks in the world. Let's enjoy it and hope that the train will stick its nose out of the Albula tunnel later. Have a good trip. Have a good day. Thank you very much for being here. Invited guests and media members drove up to Preda to the Albula Tunnel, where the 1,906-meter-long train was already in place, made up of 25 Capricorn-powered railcars. A special train advertising the world record attempt went briskly up the hill, with the GE443644 at the helm. In Bergün, a large fairground had been set up. Here, more than 3,000 people had been feverishly cheering all day, and in glorious autumn weather. We visit Bergün often. This year we've been here twice. We have our favorite hotels and our favorite site, which is the Ration Railway. We also have it at home, but a bit smaller. The elegant 644 will most likely to be allowed to make its rounds as an LGB model too. Macklin presented some LGB models from the large program at a booth. Meanwhile, the people at Blick TV were in full swing with preparations for a live stream to broadcast the event worldwide. It is something very special for us, a passion project. And when you do something that no one has done before, you always have a bit of accompanying anxiety. But you also have a certain anticipation, because today we have the opportunity to show our wonderful landscapes, the route, the trains. And I truly hope that everything works out so that these images can be shown around the world. The crux of the matter was the huge media interest. We knew right from the start that there would be a lot of journalists on site. But when we said many, we thought maybe 50 or 60 people would show up. Instead, more than 120 journalists from all over the world have been accredited for today. 
In addition, there are 20 to 30 people from Blick TV who are producing the live stream. That's a lot of media attention in a single place. At the beginning, a lot of the staff laughed at the idea or didn't really understand what we were trying to do. They only saw all the problems and challenges we faced. Then it suddenly took off, and today the employees are fully on board. We have a wonderful team. You can also sense the pride among the employees that we can show the world something very special. Even if Renato Fasciati is inwardly on edge, he always has time for a quick photo with a visitor. The special train is now winding its way into what is probably the most beautiful part of the Albula line, from picturesquely situated Bergün up in two hairpin loops towards the Albula tunnel. Meanwhile, on the fairground, visitors are entertained with a large screen. You say it's a challenge to line up these 100 cars. I guess that would be a challenge on a model railroad too. You did that though, right? Yes, at the moment we want to recreate that at least in the model. Mr. Fashati is ahead of us on the train order there. We had to get the documentation. He helped us a lot there. That's why we managed to quickly make 25 samples of the train, which I hope will come out next spring. You can see them in Bergün, where they are lined up like a string of pearls. An impressive 75 meters long. A train that is a good 3 meters long. Yes, 25 times 3 makes 75. In the spring of 2023, the LGB Capricorn will roll into the program. In the meantime, the 150 passengers have boarded and are waiting for departure. Before we get started, here's some quick info about the train. We have modified the software and reduced the acceleration and also lowered the braking curve, so that we accelerate less quickly and brake less quickly. This results in fewer inconsistencies in the train set. We have effectively turned the vehicles into slow pokes. It's now 2.14 p.m. We should have been getting a move on 40 minutes ago. Why are we still at a standstill, Christian? We haven't started yet because we also want to take the media along. We have mounted a front camera at the first buffer, but we had some trouble with it. Not a big deal, really, given how much technology we're dealing with, so our timetable has to be pushed back a little. I think we're finally moving. 25 trains. How are you operating them? Each train individually, or are there different engineers? We now have seven engineers on board. They are nicely spread out across the train and communicate with each other. One of them gives the orders and tells us when to start. It is very important that the coordination takes place simultaneously, because the train cannot be controlled by just one vehicle. Seven engineers. Did you choose specific ones who have a lot of experience? Of course. We chose those who were there when these new trains were put into service. They know all about the technology and the problems. They are also the ones who can intervene much faster, because they know exactly what to do if something happens. The train, which weighs around 2,990 tons, is rolling through the Albula carousel, passing 48 bridges and 22 tunnels. It has to move slowly, because the maximum speed is 35 km per hour. Impressive images that the world has never seen before.
wonderful long-lasting moments captured partly from the helicopter. By the way, 4,000 kilowatt hours of braking energy were generated during the descent. With just one kilowatt hour, you can actively work on a laptop for about 50 hours. In Bergun, a stop was made to get off the train. Then the long red snake started moving again. Because the top of the train had to reach the 142 meter long Landwasser viaduct. We sped up the departure of the world record train a bit. actually worked. Congratulations to all who made this magnificent event possible. The world record train continues to the next station, Alvanoi. There the individual trains are separated. In the Maki, excitement arises once again. Will the world record also be officially recognized? Congratulations, you are officially amazing! Es war einer der größten Tage in meinem Leben, zumindest als Eisenbahnfahrer. It was one of the greatest days of my life, at least as a railroad fan. And I have to say I was rooting for them. Saying you're going to do something and then actually doing it are two different things. An absolutely incredible feat. So amazing. All I can say is that I'm thrilled and even a bit proud that I was there. Now I can feel a little bit like a world record holder too. That's a great feeling. As soon as the train exited the Albiola tunnel, I was relieved. From that point on, I could really enjoy it. Then I looked out the window and saw how the train, while I was going down the hill, is moving in the same direction on the other hill. That's when I started to wonder if I didn't understand physics anymore. That the train was so long that it actually moved twice in the same direction on the switchbacks. When you see the train in which you yourself are sitting over three levels, it's very impressive. I would like to add that by far the most emotional moment for me was when we stood here in the railroad village of Bergen in the midst of thousands of people. We were a real railroad family who together saw this train coming down on two levels bathed in beautiful light. That was by far the most moving moment for me because it showed that there is something that unites us all, namely the joy of the railroad, of the racial railway. Accompanied by musical tones, an extraordinary day that will remain indelibly in the memory of many railroad enthusiasts came to an end.